Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the super common reduction of did you and other similar reductions. Being familiar with common English reductions will not only help you speak smoother and more fluently, but it will also help you understand spoken English better. In order to better understand what I'm about to explain here, I strongly suggest you watch my two previous videos in this order. Why insertion and the long U sound, and when DU is pronounced J. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. So, in the prior videos, you learned a couple of things. First, that many words with a U sound have a Y inserted before the U, like in the words cute and huge. Also, that when a D sound is followed by the long U sound, it turns the D into a J. This phenomenon of D changing into J also happens across word boundaries. You commonly hear it in questions with did you. For example, did you go to the beach? Notice how did you becomes did you. The D at the end of did becomes a j sound instead of a d sound. I want to remind you that this is correct spoken American English. It is not bad or sloppy speech. It's how we all speak even in more formal situations. However, in more casual situations, you may even hear did you reduced even further to ju. Did you go to the beach can sound like do you go to the beach? Listen carefully. Do you go to the beach? Notice I just left out did completely. This last version is very informal speech and would not be considered good speech in more formal situations. But you may definitely hear it. Have you heard you for did you before? I'd love to know where. Please leave me a note in the comments section. What was the sentence and where did you hear it? Let's try another example with did you. What did you do this weekend? Notice what did you combines to sound like what a Jew? What did you do this weekend? What did you do this weekend? And even in more casual situations, you may hear what a ja, where the U is pronounced ya instead of you. This is very common in reductions with you. And there are other very common words that end in D in English that will do this when they are followed by the word you. Here are some sample sentences. Could you hold this for me? Notice could you is pronounced could you. The D and the Y there combined and change that D into a J sound. Could you? Could you? Could you hold this for me? Don't forget that the L in the words would, could, and should is silent. It's could, would, should. There's no L in those words. If you need a little help with their pronunciation, please take a look at my video, How to Pronounce Would, Could, Should. Here's another. I need you to come in early today. Let's repeat that. I need you. I need you to come in early today. You will also hear D converted into J in words that end in D that are followed by the word your. Here are some examples. Have you found your wallet? Found your, found your. Notice the D sounds like a J. Have you found your wallet? Have you paid your tuition yet? Pager. Have you paid your tuition yet? Please include your name and phone number. Include your. Please include your name and phone number. 
So in addition to helping your English sound smoother and more fluent, this information will help you understand spoken English better. If you're finding these lessons helpful, please share them with your friends and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more lessons like this. Here are some other videos you might like. Thank you so much for watching and sharing. I also love to read your comments, so please leave me one. Thanks!